holes. Here we are, the mysterious Antarctic ruins. Here's Umbra. It's a dangerous predicament. When the humans got their new powers, their resonance with Glacius and Ventus became stronger too. And then Contagio, he's just a weird lizard elf. But, um, yeah, it seems that they're the reason they're breaking down. Can you fix them? I tried, but nothing came of it. Then maybe we should just get rid of them. <laughs> he does that laugh a lot. Seems that unless we destroy the systems those humans are using, then the problem won't be resolved. And then, Aquila, you mentioned there was something you wished to confirm first, correct? This takes precedence over finding that out. If those humans cause problems in Ventus, then there could be problems with the Lord's nourishment. In that case, it's probably safe to remove him from his current duties. We can still collect the nourishment without him. That'll make the Lord of Ruins' resurrection take longer. It'll be the same with Ventus as he is now. We should give him a different job. And what would that be? Could be an energy resource for the Ophicanus I'm uh, constructing. That way our energy output would increase and we'd be able to produce our armies quicker, meaning we'd be able to create no more nourishment. Certainly. We urgently need to increase the number of our uh, factories, the Ophicanus. Uh, we've been able to use our armies uh, so far effectively to obtain power for the Lord of Ruin, but the more outlets we have, the better, in order to spread fear and despair across this world. That's right! <laughs> But if you're going to use Ventus, the humans might find him with their system. <laughs> That's what I'm planning on. In fact, I think Lachius would be useful too. <laughs> this fucking guy, I hate him. And then Ignis. Lucky, you and me and Ventus are going to Contagio's Ophicinus. Yeah, Ophicinus? Yeah, Ophicinus. No, it's Ophicinus. Yeah, Ophicinus. Never mind. Yeah, Ophicinus. But yeah, it's factory, alright. Going to the, his factory. I'm broken, but you still have duties for me. And then tell me, if I go out there, I could encounter Joshua Redcliffe again. What's wrong, Lucky? Why are you making that face? Just, just her face, dude. See, she's got way cooler makeup when she's a baddie, dude. Off she goes. This is weird. Too weird. Something wrong with her. This doesn't add up. We're the only Meliresse that were born together. We should be the same. I know it's because of those humans in their system, but... Lucky? What has awakened inside of you? It's, it's not Naruto, I guess. And over the ocean... Here's Aqua. Huh? A mini party? Mini party? Yep! Since Hugo came back alive, we're gonna hold a small celebration. We're gonna make some simple dishes. Major Kai gave us the go-ahead. What do you think? And then, there'll be lots of difficult battles from here on. We need to do everything we can for them. Uh, thanks for thinking of us. I'll invite Hugo and help with the prep. And then, here's the Zuku. A toast to Lieutenant Hugo and his miraculous resurrection! Kampai! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Hey, Hugo, say something, will ya? Didn't expect this to be that big of a deal. Hey, Hugo, say something nice! Uh, right. Uh, everyone, I'm sorry I made you worry so much. Well, I don't know what will happen from here on out. I hope you'll... It's a pretty serious speech, dude. Hugo, you're being too formal. Seriously, you're as bad as Major Kai. Well, what should I say? I'm back? Sure, that works. After all, you come home. Home. Don't know about that, but I'm thankful I still have a place to return to. Even with this body, I can still... But... Chief and Folia... Hugo, I know you can't exactly be feeling chipper, but we did this to make you feel better. Okay? Uh, uh yeah. Hey, can we eat yet? Fuck, I don't know. Sure, dig in. Did you make this food for us, yeah? Yep, Masaki taught me a lot of stuff about Japanese dishes. I hope you like it. I've been stationed in Japanese base for a while, so I've grown fond of the food. Glad it's here. Beef and potato stew with grilled fish and boiled spinach. As a Japanese man, I'm happy. This fucking idiot. Yeah, it's like your yucky. I agree. It's good. Oishi. Yeah, this flavor is great, Precio. You should sell this in the shop if you wanted. Thanks. There's more food than I thought there'd be on this ship. That's like Saratzel. There's no stopping him when it comes to food. He'd probably try and summon food from the Gears if he could. By the way, uh, where's Toma? I haven't seen him around. Training with Axel. Really? Ah, he's determined. 
Well, it's not really it. Axel just didn't want to be part of this party. He said it was a waste of time. And then I, he's actually a pretty serious guy, huh? Sure, I, that's one way of putting it. Tell the truth, I was surprised. And then, the spinners. I made these rice balls with rim. Please try them. I'll take some for Ryoto and Ing. I'll have one too. Me too. I'll take one. And then, me up. Nom, 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 nom. Salmon in the middle? Ah, huh? tastes kinda ritzy. Fugu! Huh? You got fugu! It's super ritzy! Which is. Puffer fish. N no, it's strawberry jam! And a rice ball? That's the one I made. Is it bad? I'm not sure it's standard to put strawberry jam in a rice ball. Rem, you should probably stick to bread. <sighs> I'm sorry, I thought it might perk people up. Oh, I'd be glad to eat one. Me too. Uh, huh? You got a sweet tooth too, Ing? I love sweets. This I know. Uh, I, I see. Probably like the same things as Ibis then. <laughs> Lord Rides, I'll bring you your portion. No, I can do it myself. Please just relax and eat as much as you like. Yeah, you boys eat a whole lot. Uh, I can eat a lot too, you. Oh really? Now I'll bring you some of this, and this, and this? That's way too much, but I gotta try! And then, oh my, looks like Paul's actually stomach might burst! Got a bad feeling about this! What's wrong, Bullet? N -n -n Nothing, I just thought that Kasua might be bringing... that. I hope not! Bullet, I'll leave the front lines to you. What? I, I mean, yes sir! What are you talking about? You may not know this because you just joined, but there's a sort of rite of passage. Huh? The dreaded Kasua special. And then you drink so strong it knocks out even Lamia. It's impossible to stomach, just like Yang Long's lectures. I never want to experience it again. How rude. What effects does the drink have? Well, I'll say it's unmatched in its ability to keep you awake after you regain consciousness. It's fucking and then internally, if it has that strong of an effect, maybe I should drink it for the battles ahead. Ing, seriously, you want to try it? Everyone, I bought drinks. She's here. <laughs> it comes. Um, it's just juice, coffee, and tea. She's just scare us like that. I'm just trying to improve my energy drink right now. Okay, please c keep up the research. Now that we're safe, I'll take a coffee. Uh, that's, uh, Ilui made that one for Major Zengar. Uh, uh, Major Zengar? Children shouldn't worry about military rank. Just Zengar is fine. Uh, then please, have the coffee, Zengar. Ilui wanted to make that coffee for you, Zengar, so she poured it herself. I, I made it black this time. Thank you. I'll take it. Uh, how is it? Ah, there's no sugar in it. Flat on the fucking floor. <laughs> Major! Uh, uh, hey, is he alright? What's going on here? Zengar took one sip of Ilui's coffee and collapsed. And then Kai. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Ilui, did you add brandy or anything to the coffee? Uh, yes, I, I looked in a book. It said it was good to add it to tea, so I thought it would be good for coffee. Brandy? So that stuff Lutheran gave us? Don't really get it, but isn't it bad to add liquor to coffee? I, I messed up. Don't worry, he'll be fine soon. Yes, Zengar doesn't drink because he can't hold his liquor. He's, uh, it's, is it Gekko? Or Gakko? But whatever, whatever it is that is like a genetic thing where you can't, like you don't process alcohol properly, Zengar's got that because he watched so many samurai movies he became unable to consume alcohol. It's, he can't hold his like he, he, yeah, yeah, Gekko? Yeah, Gekko. Oh, Gekko? 
He just doesn't drink. With Zengar, even a drop of alcohol, will get, even a single drop, will get him like this. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! So he can't hold his liquor? Damn, he looks like a tank too! Poor, poor Zengar. I... I... I'm sure Zengar will understand. That's right, you weren't trying to do anything bad. Yeah, it's my fault for not telling you about it. But... but... Major Zengar is the one who gets angry over little stuff. Don't worry. <laughs> You're awake, Major. Yes. It's, sorry, Zengar, it's my fault. No, there's nothing you need to worry about. B but... I look forward to the next cup. Uh-huh. Just make it black next time. Unique portrait, never seen again. Uh, okay. Brooklyn, I want to sweat this out. Will you spar with me? Of course. And then he beats the shit out of Willie for like an hour. Because <laughs> should have been in jail for Kevin Quirk from Dungeon. It's fucked up. And then here's Clifford. Joshua, Rim, you ready? Yep, made contact. Okay, here too. Let's bring this. Uh, now let's begin the Sympathia cutoff test. Since we're in the hangar, there's no real danger of failing. But if anything unusual happens, let me know immediately. Roger. D oh, Rim, uh, I can hear a voice. A voice? You heard Ventus's voice? I yeah, through the Sympathia. He was calling out to me. But what was he saying? Uh, I'm here. Please come soon. So, is he nearby? No, I think he's far away. I don't know for certain where he is, but I know the direction. Josh, did you feel anything? No, I was... And then Katina, heh. <laughs> Isn't this a bit different from what we've seen up till now? Yes, up till now they haven't been able to resonate unless they were close. If Vince's psychic abilities have gotten stronger, then that would explain why he can contact Rim. Or maybe he's using something as a transmitter. Or it's also possible that Rim or the Sympathia have become more sensitive. And then Josh... If Rim's got more sensitive, then... Whatever it is, it's a pretty obvious trap. True sure enough, it's not like uh, it's uh, going to be only Ventus there. Major Kai, should I contact uh, Colonel Lafina? Yes. <laughs> he said, hey, maybe he wants something. He definitely did. That is absolutely what Ventus did, but in, a, in his brain. And then, seeing what happened at Torchica, I'm sure she's worried about it too. Highly likely that she'll ruin a trap. Well, they are calling us there. Let's accept the invitation. We need more information uh, on the Ruiner. Major Kai, what direction did Rim say? Let's... Something on the radar. Ruiner mechs approaching from 1 o'clock. Colonel, the direction the mechs are flying from is consistent with what Rim said. She's there's something related to the Ruiner in that direction. Search in a straight line what cities, military bases and factories are in that direction, within 100 kilometers. Roger. Major Kai, get ready to launch. Hi, Mom. And then, Snow 51, the wind calls. Arado took it as five men. Yeah, but that's because Arado is literally the toughest boy alive. He's invincible. And didn't he take a light version? I know someone took a light version and was like. Maybe that's this game, someone takes a light version and doesn't die. Here's Ata. Targets uh, Alpha through Hotel are approaching our ships. All hands, prepare for the upper VLSMs for fire firing. And then we deploy the nerds. Alright, what if we got the dudes who can't fucking fly out of the sea though? Just just a theory on that one. Just an idea. Launched nerds. Beautiful. Aqua, how's the engine? Just like Professor Wong said, it's more stable than previously. The DFC seems easier to move with. Okay, let's start with Form G for now. If we need long range capabilities, just leave it to me, okay? While you were gone, I got some experience. Of course, I'll see what you learned. <laughs> Something wrong? No, it's just it's so much better to have two people in this seat. It's pretty lonely just by myself. You say some pretty cute things sometimes. Well, it's not like I could get a capybara to ride in here with me. 
Uh, uh, nothing, don't worry about it. Let's just get through this battle. That's the plan. Toma, how does it feel? Feels a bit heavier than before. Without the Lyo system selecting a battle system, you'll have to take into consideration the feedback from the, DLM, uh, the DML, and the range of movements in all the joints is more limited. In other words, there's shackles on my ankles and wrists. And then Axel, it's for you to find out. Axel? Always think of your next movement before finishing your current one. Don't make me think I've been wasting my time. I got it. I'll show everyone what Ryo can do. And then, Rim. How are you? Can you still hear his voice? No, but I'm certain he's in this direction. Even though I can't hear him, I can feel him calling to us. That sounds really... polite, somehow. Is he really that mel Is it really that Melior essay? Even if he isn't here, it's true that Ruiner are coming after us. I'm sure they have quite the welcome party planned. It'd be great if there was cake and everything. You idiot. Do you really want to make a cake made by eyebrows or that damn smiling baldy? No, but I want to see him make one. And then Russell. God, I can almost imagine it. Liana. Yeah, I'm worried about Ventus. It's such a strong urge to not die. And just like Rishi said, he unconsciously wishes to keep on living. Erebus won the all units. Begin the attack. Yeah, Axel's like the alternate universe someone we know, super serious, it's weird. <laughs> weird. I think the SR point just blow everybody up with four turns. Nothing fancy. Yeah, within four turns destroy all the enemies. Bonding time. Smuggle like a Lugia's Gary Lizard. <laughs> Komodo Dragon, they're fast. They're like, wait a minute, why a lizard? Because you like crusty old men. Murdered that weird dog. <laughs> Roving bunker. Revolver bunker and evolving stake. <laughs> 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 Soldier of Despair! Fire and Pierce! Fucking Fire and Pierce. Right, just break through the armor. Grim Stabber, who has the most scary face looking on it, you have to make sure you see Major Kai naked. But Aqua wants to see Major Kai naked. That's my view. My favorite Aqua portrait is where she somehow moved enough while leaning back and smiling to make a little cleavage thing fucking fly up into the air. <sighs> the 
the big boy. Oh shit, she just has like a totally new sword for this attack. Like she has the custom animation but also a custom divine arm. That's fucked up. I don't feel like that. Well, yeah, I mean, I like Get high for me, he does not need to do anything with that fucking idiot. Chica can stay firmly in the realm of the fuck zone. Luina. Luina. the end for you. You're finished. Cross Smasher. Copy a camera card today? No, Chica just wouldn't even launch. She'd be like, hi familiar! And then Chica just be like, what, you want me to get in the little thing? Fly at him? Fuck that. Make Safine do it. And then Safine and... No, first he'd say make Monica do it. And then Monica would go anything for you. And then Safine would say, the me also! Wanna touch his dick? Fucking it, man. Fucking it for everybody. Watch. Ah, Carlos Len Love. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Not that, um, fucking, that would be launching Chica into the zero damage. Minus. Just, it just sets you to 50 will. He's only got one ammo because then Chica's just like, I ain't going anywhere else, fuck you. Uh, Ryo is also really good with the Type 3. That whole post movement map attack thing. I keep saying it, but all attack is really good. Oh! Lyo system's active, so the boy now gets plus 20 to his um, melee accuracy and skill, I believe. Yeah, that looks about right, yeah. Might be uh, accuracy and evasion and skill, but it might just be accuracy, skill, and melee. Like we covered it before. Uh, Leo. Yeah, melee accuracy and skill plus twenty. There you go. So, not bad.
But hey, lucky. If the turn to Lucas, she can still the fucking. That's fucked up. Got him. Powerful, right? Love that dude. Shame he has to fly the car battery. High finger launcher, a stock laser. Give you a Joey. She learned love at least, so she learned her move. Trying to send in the boy. Fang in knuckle. <laughs> she's not dead, she's twelve. <laughs> She was just cursed to not age. And then they solved it <laughs> after a year, so she's only a year older than she looks. Wait, you go a different. Yeah, I guess it is a different order. Trinity dead end. <laughs> M.A. Parts purge. Look, she's got a fucking dog and a bird. Yo, Roga. T-Sphere, Radiate, instead of Radiate, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a person, I'm not a my joke. But, uh, don't do good. See, and then they hold you still, and then Aqua has gathered the will of all peoples, all life on Earth, and she fucking spirit bombs you. Was it good?
Dabby, one of them is Krillin? No, none of them die. Hugo's the Krillin. I mean, Hugo's the one that died and came back, right? He's got to be the Krillin. He came back, so I could have become more powerful than ever before. Cross the Sosa. Beauty Slasher. Weird fucking dogs. <laughs> Boomerang. Oh, Hokuto translated more of the, the interview, like the last bit of the interview between uh, Nasa and Torada than the other guy. I'm just interviewing it. Um, and uh, they talk about how Super Robot Wars and um, Fate and Fate Go are hella wordy, and they're like, gamers don't like to read. And then Torada's like, yeah, maybe you should, like, they say that we should cut down the scenario sections on Super Robot Wars, and then Nasu instantly just goes, No! Absolutely not! Can't get rid of them! When you understand the story of Super Robot Wars, your enjoyment is a 10. If you don't, then it's a 5 at most. And I was like, Oh, calm down! And he's like, Wait, and if you spend, um, and if you made all of them animated, then that'd be really expensive. With the amount of story and stuff you have to convey, and Charles like, just because it's hard doesn't mean we shouldn't try. But, so I don't know, dude, I think, I think one billion dollars is quite a lot of money to spend. We're still just talking heads. Yeah, die Sharin. I want to play more. <laughs> no, like, like, oh, like he, like he says, we already simplified the the scenarios as much as we can. To make it the text go by as soon as possible, but what it would be like instead of the talking, it would just be cutscene or animated, and it's like that would cost you so much fucking money. Just talking heads, but spend all spend all that animation money on robots instead. Instead of spending like. One billion dollars on an anime in Zengar falling down because he drank fucking Irish coffee. Spend that million on making the animations of the robots real good, right? 
Like any budget that they take from animating the robots, they should put into animating the robots. That's pretty much the stance. Anime cutscenes or new Gundam, exactly. No, the new Gundam guy do it for free. Okay, and now you got to do Hugo's ultimate maneuver. Oh yeah, we haven't done the riot buster yet either. Let's just fucking actually destroy this dude. Go high in the gun then? No. It's not an option. Ignition! He goes who's pretty good too. It's no spirit bomb, but you'll see where he's good. Roga Crusher! I believe Midorikawa knows all of his lines for free, because he loves it. There you go, Hugo just shot all the way through the world. Yeah, then he got his block back. Time to split. Genocide claw. Electric cube. Go. And they put you in the egg. Let's recombine. This is the finish. This is karma. But it's a buster. I think that's just he shoots the gun. Uh, lightning spin edge. He still has the lightning spin edge? Well, I guess it's lightning spin edge instead of thunder spin edge. Giga Brasta Terminus Brasta. With his power. Fight against destiny. T E Sphere Blazer. You don't see now, Aqua. Quit on the missile. Back at the W H S. Sado. Oh, 
This fucking Kamehameha is so good. Turns out Akko is the good guy all along. Cookers like dogs, they're only good. You guys definitely a shitty Goku dog. What is it? Even you guys jumping the rope now? Pilot the punchy one. Pilot the punchy one, and to keep Aqua company. Because she said it was lonely, and she doesn't have a capybara. Spirit says one. You're getting out of here. I don't give a fuck what you think. But the superior form? No way, because the other one has a dog and a bird. He's not even the most Goku in his robot. I'm going to go eat some takoyaki. Call the ropes directly up to the amount of fuckers it punches, and or swords or axes. I mean, I'm with you with the swords and axes, and the punches be pretty good. But Granzon is the best robot, and it never punches anybody. I mean, it does sword one guy, but. That colds are like fist made vision. Then what's a spirit bomb then? That's made up of everybody's wishes for beautiful punches. Why oh, was she naked in that attack? New type Nirvana. She achieved true understanding. So, and also her and Bullet are naked in the robot, by the way. Like they just float in it naked. <laughs> so it's not that she's naked for that attack. It's that you just get to see her be naked for that attack. Because she's naked all the time. Oh good, an energy thing I can sell, because I don't want it. <laughs> Hell yeah, heaven and an exploding fucking sword. He's <laughs> trying to- Hell yeah! He- he- fucking- like, didn't- She's got enable, so she can make someone go again. Awaken. 
arise. Just fucking do that now. Blew him up. Easy. All enemies in the battlefield have been taken out. Keep all hands at the ready, XO. What's the result of your ex investigation? I think we hit the big one this time. There's a base in the Chilean city of... Uh... Alright then. Uh... Koihaike? Koihaike? Uh, it's in the Chilean city. In the direction rim pointed. Looks like it's been taken over by the Ruiner. You sure about that? Yep. Yeah. If we can count Federation transmissions, I picked up as proof. However, it seems like the Federation forces they sent to recapture uh, the base has have retreated. It's our turn to give it a try. Have all our units return to the ship, then we'll head for the place. Roger. <laughs> 